I was 14, I really wanted curly hair like that guy in Twisted Sister, so I shaved my head and I thought, really curly thoughts. <laughs> it didn't work, but I did learn to wiggle my ears that summer. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the short answer to your question would be, yes, I am a U.S. citizen. <laughs> Thank you. Dharma, this is just a routine background check. They don't need to know your whole life story. Come on, Greg, I'm getting grilled by the FBI. I caved. <laughs> Mrs. Montgomery, I'm not grilling you. This is a security clearance that your husband can look at some classified evidence. Oh, you don't have to worry about Greg. He's really good at keeping secrets. Just ask him what we did in his office last week. <laughs> uh, nothing, we didn't do anything. It's good, honey. See? <laughs> all right, I, I think we're almost done here. Oh, okay, okay, one more thing, because you're going to find out about it eventually, so let me just get it all out. When I was 13, I stole a bra from Sears because my mom wouldn't let me have one. Uh, put me down for that one, too. <laughs> Shut up! I wrapped it around a telephone pole and practiced unhooking it. <laughs> Well, now I'm really sure we're done. Um, uh, Mrs. Montgomery, if you could just give me your parents' address. I'd like to ask them a few questions. You're going to do a background check on my parents? Standard procedure. Um, well, here, I'll just write it down for you. It'll be faster. Oops. I'm going to go buy you a new pencil. Sorry about this, Abby. Oh, honey, it's not your fault. We always knew this day might come. When you live with a wanted man, every day that he's free is a precious gift. Okay, I found the emergency suitcase. Nixon now? It's camouflage to blend in with the establishment. Oh, honey, I don't think these are gonna fit you anymore. Oh, I'll take them. Those are awesome. Okay. Here are your vitamins. Hey, come on, Abby. I can't haul these things around. I gotta travel light. I'm going underground. Well, let's just move some of these H-backs, make little moves. What am I gonna listen to? Oh, hey, Larry. Cool, look. You can use my disc man. Do you have strawberry alarm clock on CD? <laughs> Larry, nobody does. Hey, do you have a nice pair of pants and a shirt? What difference does it make? I'm going underground. What if underground? You go out someplace nice. <laughs> Well, sweetie, I may not be seeing you for a while. Larry, I can't help thinking this is all my fault. No, 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 it's not your fault. I'm the one that burned those draft records. I'm the one that crippled the Vietnam War machine. And if living like a hunted animal is the price I have to pay, then so be it. Can't you just go stay with Grandma? Not unless I cut my hair and finish college. you to uh, wear the warm jacket because it gets chilly at night. Okay. Uh, and uh, I brought you a pillow. Well, come on, Abby. Well, what? You want to wake up in the morning with a stiff neck and be cranky? I'm running for my life. I'm supposed to be cranky. Just take it. Okay. Well, I guess this is it. Oh, I got a list of places here that if you want to contact me, you can leave a message. Crazy Dave's Record Shop. That's a Starbucks now, Larry. Then use the others. The Free Clinic on Market Street. That's a Starbucks, too. Okay. I'll contact you. Goodbye. Love you. I forgot my backpack. It's on your back, Larry. Right. Hey, Greg. 
You're not gonna believe what happened to me last night. Does it involve a woman in a bar? <laughs> Will you let me tell the story? Sorry. So I'm at this bar last night, right? <laughs> this woman walks up, right? Really? I'm not getting anywhere with her until I whip out my brand new security clearance card. Next thing you know, she's all over me like a Russian spy. Pete, what if she was a Russian spy? Oh, come on. <laughs> they don't have those anymore, do they? Hey, sweetie. Mama, hey. what are you doing here? I gotta talk to you. Pete, can you? Oh, sure, sure. You need the office to do a little desktop publishing, huh? You were listening? It's not his fault, honey. You were very vocal. <clears throat> oh, 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 there's a stapler in my ass. <laughs> What's going on? What happened to you this morning? Well, to make a long story short, uh, I basically had to tell my father to go into hiding. Make the story long. <sighs> okay. 30 years ago, my father broke into the draft board office and burned all their records. There's been a warrant after his arrest ever since. Do you want some lunch? <laughs> well, well, and, and, and you're just telling me this now? Well, I couldn't tell you until he was safe. Well, what do you think I was going to do? Turn him in? Wouldn't you have to? Well, technically, yes. Aha! Uh -huh. but... But there might be another way out of this. I need to talk to him. Tell me where he is. I can't tell you where he is unless you promise he's not going to get arrested. Well, I can't promise that until you tell me where he is. Then you can't talk to him unless you promise me that. Dharma, come on. Where is he? All I'm going to say is that he went underground where no one will ever find him. Is everything all right, sir? Sure. Fine. Just the usual. Just the regular. What do you mean, the regular? The regular thing you do here, you know, waiting for a bus gonna go on a bus. So you've been sitting there all morning waiting for a particular bus. It's a special bus, isn't it? Yep. My bus. Okay. Well, you, uh, you stay warm, buddy, now, all right? You bet. I still got it. This is good. What is it? Food. Dharma, if you want to be mad at me, that's fine. But for the record, you're mad at me for something you think I might have done, whereas I'm mad at you for something you actually did do. No. Oh, it was something I didn't do, and I didn't do it because if I did do it, you would have done that thing that you claim you might not have done. <laughs> But we'll never know, will we? Oh, I know. <laughs> Go <Come> away! <laughs> Hello, you crazy lovebirds. Okay, tough room. I got that information you want. What information? I asked Pete to do a little background check of our own on your father so I could try to help, which is what I said I would have done if you'd given me the opportunity to do it. Says you. <laughs> What'd you find? Nothing. I mean nothing. I know, I was surprised too. You know, saying as it's your father, you know, I thought, you know, at least we'd find a little, you know. <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. Larry Finkelstein could be president, God help us. Well, this is great news. This can't be right. What about the Sausalito draft board fire? You broke in and burned all their records. He's famous for that. Well, yeah, I checked on that too. Yeah, it seems there was a little fire the draft board office back in 68, but the sprinklers put it out. No records were damaged. They just had to replace the carpeting. That doesn't make sense. Oh, no, that's fairly typical. You know, it's not the carpeting so much as the padding underneath. You know, when that gets wet... Uh, uh, thanks, Pete. Sets in it. Honey, isn't this great? Yeah, uh-huh. Your dad can come home now. Why don't you uh, call your mom and, and tell her the good news? Nah, I think I better break this to her in person. That was weird, huh? Yeah. You like weird? <laughs> Getting used to it. That's great. Because you were going to love this little tidbit. It seems the FBI has a little tax problem with your father's wife. You mean my mother? No, I mean your father's wife. <laughs> My mother is my father's wife. That would be true, Mr. Not-Catch-On-Too-Quick. <laughs> if your 
your father and his first wife had ever filed for a divorce. My father had a first... Give me that. <laughs> which also means that your mother and father aren't married. Which furthermore means that that name I called you when we were playing golf last week... <laughs> that's technically accurate. Son of a... No, no, no. The other one. <laughs> oh, my God. This is just going to kill your father. I know, I know. But you know what? We're just going to have to remind him of all the other cool anti-establishment things he did. Dharma, the draft board was really his one big thing. Well, what about the time he chained himself to the Redwood? It was a Redwood deck. It was an accident, and we're not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, um... Hey, okay, what about the march on Washington? We didn't make it. Why? Oh, it was my fault. I should have told him. D.C. <laughs> well, there's absolutely got to be something he can feel proud of. Well, uh... Oh, Dharma, we can't tell him about this. <laughs> well, Abby, what, are we just supposed to leave him out there alone? Yes, until we think of something. He can take care of himself. No, he can't. He chained himself to a Redwood dad. <laughs> Dad, in here. Hey, I've never seen you use that before. I'm going to see the cardiologist tomorrow. I'm cramming. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Dad, I need to um, talk to you about your first wife. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I heard. Dad, you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just a little dehydrated. Son, your mother and I were going to tell you about this when you were old enough to understand. I'm 31. What were you waiting for? You're 31. I gotta tell you, this is kind of upsetting. Oh, grow up. You're 31. <laughs> Dad, the divorce was never final. You're still married to that woman. What are you doing? Your mother will go a lot easier on me if I've just had a heart attack. <laughs> You're kidding. How do you chain yourself to a redwood deck? Well, he was practicing for the protest and he wanted to show everyone how he could hide the key in his mouth. <laughs> Greg, what are we going to do? We're not going to give him another key to the apartment. Is there some way you can get your friends in the FBI to make him think he's a criminal? Well, I guess we could trump up a big old file full of groovy anti-war crimes, fly to Washington and plant it at the FBI headquarters. Hey, that's a great idea! <laughs> and then Larry can break in, steal the file, and then he'll think that's why no one's after him. Dharma, I, I was making a ludicrous statement to make a point. And a good point, except you know what? We should probably do it here because Larry has a little trouble finding Washington. <laughs> that? Norman, he's never going to believe this is his FBI file. Oh, he will if he steals it from a fancy government office. Like yours. <laughs> okay, even if I could convince a security guard to leave a door unlocked and turn the alarm off, what person in their right mind would believe that they could erase their entire criminal past by stealing one file? What a lucky break! <laughs> All my records in one file? <laughs> That's the government for you. Morons. <laughs> I, I, I know this must seem really weird to you, letting a guy break in to steal a fake file, but the man's entire identity is wrapped up in being a 60s revolutionary. Like I was telling your friend, for season tickets to the 49ers, I let you guys steal the helicopter off the roof. <laughs> Good to know. Excuse me for a second. Pete, can I speak to you? I don't have season tickets to the 49ers. I'd get some. <laughs> Anything else? I told him your sister looks like Courtney Cox. I don't have a sister. I'd get one. <laughs> okay, so the security alarm in the northwest corner goes on at midnight, so we gotta move fast. Like a puma. So straight down this hallway. That's a beautiful map you made, Dharma. Thank you. Second door on the right, go in, grab the file, and then back out the way we came. 
Check. Larry, what are you doing? Destroying the evidence. No, we need that. Larry, we recycle paper. Not tonight. Tonight, we recycle freedom. Just tell me one more time before I leave. You're a good daughter. Thank you. It is. It's a trap. No, it's not. They always leave one door open just to trap you. No, they don't. Dharma, honey, when you're wanted by the FBI, we'll do it your way. made the lock that can stop Larry Finkelstein. Except the one on that redwood deck. Well, good night. Uh, Kitty, uh, a troubling matter has come up. Don't you lose sleep over it. Sweet dreams. Uh, Kitty, we've got to talk. Please, sit down. Do you remember that little mistake I made that we never talk about? It's late, Edward. You'll have to be more specific. My first wife? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, it seems there's a little uh, problem with the divorce. What sort of problem? We didn't get one. What? Yes, sir. Uh, we had an arrangement. I was to uh, pay for the divorce and she was to file the papers. Apparently, she didn't. Are you telling me that you're still married to this woman? Yes, and I'm going to call Gottlieb in the morning and we'll settle this whole thing. Let, 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 let me understand this. You are married and I am single. I suppose you could look at it that way. Yes, and I suppose you could also look at me as the other woman. I'll call Gottlieb now. Not, not now, Edward. Not now. Lie down. Why? Oh. It's been a long time, Kitty. Don't talk, Edward. That's why we stopped. <laughs> Camera, quick! I should never have brought you into this. It's too dangerous. It's not dangerous. I mean, it's very dangerous. <laughs> but I'm with you. Uh-uh. I'll get the file. You go back to the van. Larry, 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 the file's this way. Larry, Larry. Larry? Hi. Thorma, what, what are you doing here? I lost him. How could you lose him? Oh, what can I say? He still has a little puma left in him. <laughs> I found him. Oh, no. Uh, no, the Larry. Larry no, Come no. on. Jeez, oh, what's that going to run me? Two fifty a camera. Listen, we got to wrap this up. I'm going to get in all kinds of trouble. Hey, hey, hey. He's going the right way. Oh, good, hey, Larry. Good, Larry. Turn Larry. Turn around, Larry. Come on, Larry. Larry. You can do it. Come on, Larry. Turn around. <laughs> Out. Is she gonna come out? All right! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, Larry, all you have to do is go back out the way you came in. Larry, 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 Larry. Larry. <laughs> There have been six, seven guards chasing me, and I think they had dogs. Oh, is that why you jumped into the dumpster? Absolutely. Changed my scent. Worked. Boy, they had some file on me. 
I mean, there's things in here that I don't even remember doing. <laughs> oh, oh, and this is good. The FBI misspell bureau. Hey, everybody. Wh where have you been? I've been, I've been calling all night. Hi, Greg. Hey, Greg. Oh, we, uh, we just went on a little um, family outing. Where'd you go? Where did we go? Um, apple picking. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Where are the apples? Oh, uh, the apples. They were too small, so we had to throw them back in. Up. <laughs> On. And you, uh, dressed in black so you could, uh... Sneak up on those apples. Yeah, we did. Curious George now. Leave him alone. <laughs> so, uh, if you'll uh, excuse me, I have to go dispose of uh, some trash. You know, outside. Just get rid of it. Once and for all. Just go. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, we're all done with this. Everything's back to normal. Yes. I suppose I should be getting off to bed. Uh, you're welcome to stay, if, if you like. Oh? And I'm going to call Gottlieb in the morning, and we'll get this whole divorce thing straightened out. No. Don't call Gottlieb. <laughs> you must never call Gottlieb. 